Dan Passarelli here. Well, the JOLTS report came out this morning, and it was good news. There's way fewer jobs out there, fewer job openings, which, you know, kind of sounds like bad news, but here's the sort of unintuitiveness about it, is that when we get inflation, the economy is overheating, and one of the biggest contributors to that is wage inflation which, you know, sounds like a good thing that wages are going up, but it just continues to fuel the fire and drive prices higher, apparently. So, you know, this is something I've struggled with for years in the past as well, just trying to understand this this bad news is good news sort of scenario. But what it comes down to is, the corporations and the people who invest in corporations, investors, uh, the smart money, the Warren Buffett types and, and that, you know, what they're looking for is they're looking for a return to normalcy or what is perceived to be normalcy. It is definitely arguable that normal is interest rates close to zero, um, but that's what people are looking for. And they feel that a little bit of bloodletting is kind of helpful. And that's what we saw today. Now, here's the thing. We've still got a bunch of news coming out this week. And if the rest of the news ends up being bad news as well, I speculate as to whether we're going to continue to see the bad news is good news scenario play out. At some point, I think it might become priced in. Um, some of the information in jolts might make people infer that some of the news coming out later this week, there's lots of employment news and GDP news and such coming out the rest of this week that they figure that it might come in congruent with that. So I think we're going to continue to see a little bit of volatility. The VIX is down a little bit today. It closed 0.63 down, 63 cents down, but that's, largely because the market was up. We tend to see that inverse relationship between volatility and equity prices. So hang on, pick your spots, look for individual opportunities and trade smart. By the way, one of the things that I had to do today was I had to roll some of my covered calls, right? I trade covered calls all the time in my IRA. And when the market goes higher, that's when a lot of people panic, say covered calls don't work, I'm losing money on my calls, but nothing could be further from the truth. There's a lot of misunderstandings when it comes to trading covered calls. So this evening, I'm going to have a presentation, a special online training just on covered calls and cash cured puts. And if you haven't attended it, I would love to have you attend it. I think it's really, really important for anybody who wants to be a smart investor. And you can sign up at the... Web address that comes up right after this. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.